Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jay Caliber here with the third installment of Hat History and today as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail of the video we are going to be talking about the Brotherhood of Arms. So the Brotherhood of Arms is an all class hat cosmetic giving any of the nine mercenaries a team coloured hood with a white baseball cap underneath that hood. If you apply a paint to the Brotherhood of Arms you only change the colour of the cap not the hood which is just a little information nugget for you as well. I always thought this hat was just a scout hat, just because when you uncrate it or get one, it's modeled on a scout. And I don't know why. I always just assumed it was a scout only. Didn't really, didn't really take in that it was all class. The Brotherhood of Arms was added to the game on June 13th, 2013, as part of the community content pack, being the second update to feature a bundle of community created TF2 cosmetics, was pretty cool. And the Brotherhood of Arms was created by Part Bimson for the update, uh, completely on his own, no team, just himself. The hat can be obtained a number of ways, from the Manco store for an extortionately too high a price. You can get it as a random drop in-game, just you, you have a chance of getting one just randomly, but your chances are very slim, especially with all the other craft hats you can get. You can craft it, or as a, as a guaranteed scout hat or as a random craft hat and if you open crate number 61 if you still have one of those you have a chance of getting the unique version of this hat you can also then go to the manco store again for an extortion at price and get an unlock cosmetic crate for a chance to get the unique version or the strange version obviously amongst all the other cosmetics you can possibly get in that crate or if you are very, very lucky, you can go and just uncrate and get an unusual version. Um, very common, there's quite a lot of them in existence just from any of the crates, an unusual Brotherhood of Arms. Comes in three qualities, unique, strange, and unusual. Statistically speaking, as of this video, there are 89,932 unique versions, 1,491 strange versions, and 994 unusual ones and then there's the one self-made version for the creator himself the top three most common unusual effects to find on this hat in existence are as follows cloud nine being the most common disco beatdown being the second and kilowatt being the third with the least common unusual effect being the ooze uh, in terms of pricing for this hat it's kind of just most like most ha hats it kind of comes down to to the effect just because of how how many of them there's you know there's nearly a thousand of these in existence by the time you're watching this probably is a thousand of them in existence and out of that there's um there's a lot of them so it's kind of standard pricing you know burnings being the most expensive and masses of flies being the cheapest in terms of trivia for this hat the name brotherhood of arms is actually a homage to the unreleased version of tf2 before it was the game we know today and it was called team fortress 2 brotherhood of arms some of you may be familiar with this uh, it was a more realistic style first person shooter game. I think that's when they still had 10 classes and there was a civilian class. Uh, if you want more information on that, I'll just link uh, a VNN video down in the description below if you want to uh, check that out and find out more about the unreleased version of TF2. The description of the hat also reads straight out of 2 4, which is also another homage to the NWA album straight out of Compton that then was later on turned into a movie. The phrase Brotherhood of Arms is also a term, you'll probably know this, used to describe a group of people who are close and is especially used to refer to uh, members of the military service, which I find is most fitting because it's an old class hat. That, that's kind of it that's, as far as that trivia fact goes. Uh, this hat also makes an appearance in the famous end of the line SFM, which it's quite cool. It's quite cool. It looks good, especially when they had all those other cosmetics as part of that update. That does it for this hat, my guys. Tell me what you think about this absolute staple mark of the TF2 cosmetic scene down in the comments below. Tell me which TF2 cosmetics and hats you want me to cover in the next video. Links to my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord are in the description below. I've been Jay Caliber. Adios.